Hey everybody, it's Brian and I am going to show you the uh, Hooligan Scrapbook on the Go layout today. Uh, I just finished it. It's a little bit later than I had expected to, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this video processed and out there for you. Um, again, I only used really what was in the kit. So this is what the Scrapbook on the Go workshop says that it should look like if you follow it step by step. And all of the instructions are included here. I cut everything as laid out. And I laid everything out, including the measurements for the base pieces are exactly the same. So I'm going to walk you through what I did differently. So here is the layout. on the two pages. Um, I, as you can see, I've been storing boxes for our first shipment, which should be here shortly once I place the order. I'm kind of excited because I only have, I'm only waiting on one more order to come in and we can place the order. So it should actually be a lot faster than usual. So instead of stamping the title, I actually cut the title on the Cricut uh, using the um, Feeling Groovy cartridge. Uh, the letters are cut at two inches. I tried to cut them smaller, it just didn't work, but I actually like the title going along the bottom. In the kit, it tells you to add prism glue and prism glitter down these pieces. Instead of that, I actually added the um, red line tape and some clear glass beads to give it that effect. Let's see if it'll show up. There you go. See, it kind of sparkles. And then on the ribbons, in the kit, they tell you to put the brad here and then tie it in a knot. I actually put the brad at the end and cut it off. I like a, a more clean look. And then on the buttons, they put the buttons in a di slightly different arrangement. So there's that. Here's the first picture, which is a 5 by 7 And I cut these pieces of solid cardstock. And this is gray flannel so that you can see where the picture placement is because I don't like showing what the pictures of my nieces and nephews online without asking my sister and brother first. So um, here I went ahead and added string to the buttons. And it's kind of a little more of a Halloween theme because of the black, but you could have added orange string or purple string and kind of played with the colors of the layout. On the second side, I added the same clear glass beads down the side, stamped the sentiment in black that says too cute to spook, and then did the um, brad with the ribbon here and then stamped each of the critters exactly like they said in the kit. So those are exactly like the kit laid out. So I did some alterations, um, some additional things that you could do if you wanted to. Um, make the picture slightly smaller, like a 4x6 instead of a 5x7, and cuddle bug this with one of the new cuddle bug folders. You could do the same thing here by just spacing out the pictures just a little bit more. You could cuddle bug those and add a little bit of texture. I didn't just because it's um, a pretty super clean um, layout. And i got to be honest with you, it used hardly any of the paper from the kit. You're going to have tons of paper left over from this one. Uh, tomorrow I will show you one of each of the three cards. I really love how that title turned out. And the Feeling Groovy Cricut Light Cartridge has, you can see all the trash on the floor, sorry my scraps of paper from tonight's project. Um, you can, uh, the Cricut Light cartridge is available at Walmart. Um, I actually like cut letters better than stamp letters, and that's just me because I'm really partial to my Cricut. But we have some beautiful alphabet stamps. Um, just so you can see how many, how much of the, this is the mini medley set that comes with it. All of the buttons were used, and about a third of the ribbon. You have uh, most of your brads left and all of your metal accents for your cards. So we'll be using a lot more of this in the cards tomorrow. I also used Gypsy and Pear Ink, and those are two of the brand new colors. So um, they really kind of played up the new colors in all of the kits. So the Majestic, uh, the Magnifique kit, the Olivia kit, and even the Christmas kit, the mistletoe kit, uses some of the new colors. I used um, Scotch adhesive to stick down and layer up the letters. And I, of course, used my 
trusty handy ATG gun for layering up all of the major pieces. I also used, instead of using thread, I used um, this here. It's our black waxy floss um, to thread through the buttons and it worked really well because it never really frayed and it's really easy to tie. Uh, the whole layout, including the stamping and tying of the, the buttons, which actually took longer than I thought, um, took about an hour total if I would have had everything laid out to do. So uh, quick and easy, but I think it turned out really nice. Let's get one last shot of the layout. And this is as it would appear in your scrapbook. Let's see if I can get out far enough that you can see it. I'm not in my scrap room, so I don't I can't lay it out over the whole table because I'm working on a project in there on something else. So, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll come back tomorrow with a short video on uh, the cards. We'll actually make one card on the video, and then I'll show you the two um, examples of the two other cards that you can make in the kit. Have a great night.